All right, this is Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 12, and we're going to continue talking about division, so with this quotient. Uh, and this time we're going to be dividing only by 2. So in, in this case, if we were to talk about 18 divided by 2, now remember, 18 divided by 2, uh, well, well, of course the answer is 9, but the uh, this dividing by 2, this 2 could mean the number of groups and 18 is the total, which would mean 9 is the size of each group, all right? Or another thing 18 divided by 2 could stand for, 18 divided by 2, of course, equaling 9, could mean that 18 is the total, but 9 is the, um, I'm going to call this the size of a group, and which would mean that 19 is the number of groups needed. All right. So in this lesson, we're going to be dividing by 2, but sometimes it's the number of groups, and sometimes 2 represents the size of a group. So in this problem, we have an earthworm that tunnels two centimeters in, in, into the ground each day. The earthworm tunnels at the same pace every day, so it's always two, 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 two. How many days will it take for the earthworm to tunnel 14 centimeters? Okay, so uh, one way to do this might be to draw little stars to represent centimeters. So two st stars, there's two centimeters. That's one day. Another two stars, that's another 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 day. And we're just going to keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until we have finally reached that we now see that the, the correct answer is seven days. Now, if we wanted to model this, how would we model it? Well, one way, well, we just modeled it, but how would we label it? We might say uh, 2, 14 uh, centimeters. And then we might say um, 2 centimeters per day. Oh, no, you know where we'd put the 2 centimeters per day? We'd probably put the 2 centimeters per day right here. 2 centimeters. And then down here, we'd probably say 7 days. And that's how we might label it. Whereas in this problem, we have 14 divided by 2 equals 7, but this is the size of each group. Here, we have Sebastian and Tashan. They go to the movies, and they spend $16 total, and the boys share the cost equally. How much does Tashan pay, which would mean how much does Sebastian pay, because they pay the same amount. Well, if you have two boys, we might label these with a tape diagram and separate them like that. And if we have $16, let's see, maybe I'd put one, 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 and each boy is going to keep going dollar, 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 dollar. Dollar, 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 dollar. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, done. 16. So we've now figured out that we have two boys, $16, and we can see that each boy pays $8. So in this case, our, our division would be 16 divided by 2 equals 8. And the 2 stands for the number of groups. And then in the other problem, let's go back. And so that's lesson 12, dividing by tw 2 uh, using uh, tape diagrams and arrays and all that sort of stuff.